Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Sunday, November 5th and the energies in the day adds up or reduce to number five vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. Like I said, I feel like I gotta keep pausing to make sure I get the day right and I'll probably keep doing that until like, you know, it finally, finally clicks. But like, ooh, today, I don't know. Like, so when it comes to the energies in today, for the simple fact that it's the 11th month and the energies in the day adds up to the number five, um, and it's also the fifth day, like, I just, I don't know, like, I feel myself speeding up, like, like I feel myself speeding up or talking super fast or feeling like, you know, like a whole lot of energy. It's like, I got some wings, like, it just feels super fast and today is sunday so the sun is amplifying the day the number five energy is amplified so the number five energy amplified to me today is a day where you could find yourself super busy like if you're not working or even if you are at work things could just be a little bit weird today i say a little bit weird i think of like say you're at work by yourself and all of a sudden the lights start flickering and you're like what the hell is happening it's almost like a surge of energy. So whether it's a surge of literal energy and you're noticing glitches when it comes to your electricity or your smart devices or whatnot, or you just find yourself having so much energy and you're not sure exactly what to do with it and you're just super just, just restless to where it's like you need to do something with this energy before it gets you in trouble and i will say if in doubt pull your journal out but i don't feel like this is the kind of energy that most people will feel like they want to journal in because as i'm speaking i feel myself feeling short of breath because it's like feeling excited like i feel like i need to do something to me with this energy this energy is where i would put my headphones on and perfect this is actually my exercise day and I use the days of the week to exercise in the sense that Sunday is a day that I'll use for exercise because the energy of the sun is vibrant. So I know it will aid my exercise Tuesday for sure, because Mars energy will help to move me. And Thursday also because Jupiter energy will help to give me motivation. So those three days mandatory, I'm going to go out and get some exercise because I have a lot of energy naturally. And even if my energy isn't high, those days provide more energy than I would normally have. Anything can happen within the other days, but those days are mandatory. So when it comes to today, today is a day where you want to put your music on whatever fast paced music, because today is not the day where I feel like I want to listen to slow, relaxing type of music. Today I don't feel like the day where I want to listen to a podcast either. Maybe, I don't know. But to me, this feels like the kind of energy where I will put that upbeat music in and I'll walk super fast. You might jog, you go jogging or you play a sport, but you want to also pace yourself because I feel like someone could go so hard to where they could hurt themselves or pull something or strain something because all of this energy just feels like that. And the moon is also in Leo and the moon is still in Leo actually and it's still a part of a T-square with Uranus and Jupiter and Taurus, the Sun, Mars, and Mercury and Scorpio. So with all of that energy squaring to the moon, like the inner world feel like it's under attack. Like, you know, on the inside, you might feel like no one, like it's like they won't let me be great. Like somebody won't let you be great today or so it feels. Whether it's the bills that won't let you be great or the loans that won't let you be great or whatever. It feels like something won't let you be great. 
and you know you just want to walk it off you want to walk it off and with the beaver energy the beaver energy brings me to like don't burn any bridges don't burn any bridges in the sense like i feel like the energy in today could easily um cause some of us to get carried away when i think about the beaver i just think about the building and the running water building over running water when i think about the beaver i think about how the beaver moves with discernment because wherever water is flowing that wherever there's a sound of flowing water the beaver will build there so today's the energy to challenge yourself to be discerning jupiter squares uh jupiter semi squares neptune today semi squares neptune and pisces so with jupiter semi squaring neptune and pisces to me i think of neptune and pisces as more introspective reflective energy more escapism within energy jupiter and taurus taurus more traditional foundational practical energy and with that semi square energy it's like not wanting to deal with practicality not wanting to deal with real life uh the sun is the ruler of the day the sun is in scorpio with the sun in scorpio like mars and mercury energy scorpio energy is a reclusive energy it's transformative it also deals with power control and transformation and throughout scorpio season this year is going to be super transformative and a day like today is also very powerful when it comes to transformation because today is a day where anything can happen today is a day today is that glitch in the matrix type of day that glitch in the matrix type of day where it's like all of a sudden this sudden and unexpected thing happens and this sudden and unexpected thing might be exactly what you needed or it might not be what you need but if you pay attention and be patient you realize it is exactly what you actually needed and the sun is a part of a trine between venus and virgo and pluto and scorpio and i love that because with venus and virgo pluto and scorpio uh making the trine to the sun and mars mercury energy in scorpio this brings me to say us sitting down being strategic and coming up with organized ways to uh create the kind of goals that we want for ourselves or whatever it is that we want for ourselves in this life that will allow us to have control but with venus and virgo we're not reinventing the wheel so this is where you're like you know you have a light bulb moment you know sudden and unexpected situation happen you get a call from someone you didn't expect to get a call from or there's a blow up or a disagreement or something happens unexpectedly and it's like boom you know or it could be a great thing that happens unexpectedly and you get the insight that you need and from that insight that you need you realize a way how to make something happen for yourself to where you don't have to reinvent the wheel uh, and i feel like that's important and i remember too many cards popped out and i remember um you know that finally clicking for me because for the longest i used to think i need to start everything from scratch i need to be so original authentic and do it my way until i learn like you don't need to reinvent the wheel and we have the king of wands in the reversal position this is the king of wands in the upright position in the reversal position i feel like this energy could be annoying frustrating even dangerous annoying frustrated even dangerous in the sense that this could be a person or it could be you and someone who feels like it's almost like someone is like your wings are clipped or someone's wings feeling clipped and when i say wings feeling clipped in the sense that it's like imagine a person always would be the one to do a certain thing and all of a sudden they're not that person anymore so it's like imagine in your workplace there is this person that would always be the go-to person and everybody you know always recognizes this person for doing this that and the next and all of a sudden they're not getting all that attention anymore so because they're not getting all that attention anymore they're being a little bit salty and even sabotaging things because they're coming with this pouty just annoying energy and it's like you want to like you know slap them up and tell them to stop the the bsness and you know or maybe that might be you in your feelings feeling sorry for yourself because something might not be going your way but with this energy here like say if this is someone like you know I would just be patient with them and give them their space and if this is you I would write about it I will I would journal about it I would write about it I would journal about it but with the energies in today 
I would pace myself and like say a busy body child, I would probably warm myself out in the sense that I go for a long, 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 long walk to the point that I am so tired when I get back, too tired to do anything but take a shower, sit on the couch and watch a movie or some YouTube or something. When it comes to the energies in today, like, you know, don't pay, don't take certain things too serious or give certain attention to say, you know, negative people, because, you know, for some people, attention is attention, whether it's good or bad, as long as you're paying them attention, that's all that matters is what I'm getting. But like with the king of wands in the reversal position, I just get someone in a funk. It's like someone who doesn't feel like they're able to operate or move around the way they like. So what comes to mind is I think about, say something happened to someone and they get hurt and everybody around them is trying to help them. But instead, like they're being a real jerk, they're being mean because they kind of want to low key push everybody away from helping because maybe deep down they feel like they don't deserve the help because, you know, they're going through what they're going through. And it's just like, be patient with them, see with them. Or maybe you might be going through a moment and, you know, you can't tell everybody, oh, see with me. Maybe you can say, hey, you guys, I'm going through something right now. It's not personal. Or like I said, you know, take yourself a long walk and do some reflection. And after you've done that long walk, maybe you all, you know, you're, after you've done the walk, you might turn on your, your phone and record yourself uh, expressing and talking about whatever it is that you're going through or whatever it is that you feel. I just feel like with the energies in today, sitting down and busting the journal out, it's like today reminds me of those days when I pull my journal out and it's like my thoughts are moving faster than my hand. So my handwriting doesn't look like nothing, how it normally looks. It just looks like a bunch of chicken scratch because I'm writing, I'm trying to keep up with my thoughts and really I don't even want to be doing it in the first place. I'm just doing it because maybe I need to write down a dream or maybe I need to write down a premonition or something so that I could revisit it later and toot my own horn. So, you know, in cases like that is like, you know, my, my handwriting is a mess because it's like my mind is going quicker than how my hands could go. And that's how the energies feel for today. So when it comes to today's energy, to me, today is a perfect day to learn how to uh, burn off stress or release unwanted energy. So for me, with today's energy, definitely go for a nice walk, nice walk and or run or whatever exercise you do or get out and do something active. Or even if you're inside your space, you know, do some little exercise routine, turn on YouTube and work out with somebody on there or something like that, but like definitely manage your energy well today, a whole lot of energy. But I feel like with, even with all that, the King of Wands energy in the reversal position to me reminds me of like, say how you might be, um, once a sudden and unexpected event happens today and you feel like it's happening against you, where if you only give it some time, I promise you, you will soon realize it's actually happening for you. And like the beaver energy, you just need to surrender and use your discernment in the moment. That's what's important. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a natal chart or an coaching session with me, or check out my exclusive weekly content only available on Patreon. The links for that is in the description box below. But before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a blue heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.